Good morning guys, my name is Allison if you are new here and welcome back to a week in my life here in Tokyo as a grad student. So right away, like a minute before I started filming this, I got a package in the mail. So I thought I would open it with you guys. I'm very excited. If you know what this store is, you'll know what they are already. Yes, I got sneakers. Oh my goodness, even the box is beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're beautiful. Please fit me. Have you ever seen something so magnificent? So these are the collaboration with the artist uh, Mayumi Yamase. I just love the look of these, like with the like raw paint feel. And then I didn't realize this online, but some of them are like woven in. And both of the shoes are a little different from each other, which I really like. My toe is like here. So I think it's okay. Like they're just like a little too big. Like the half size might have fitted me a little better, but you know, they didn't have it in stock. So I didn't have a choice. This was literally the only size they had left. Thank God I have huge woman feet for Japan, for Japan. Yeah, I'm really happy with them, I think. And I love them. Okay, so now that my sneaker excitement is out of the way, I'm going to attend a seminar with like a big figure in like international media here in Japan. So I'm kind of excited for that just to, you know, like listen to him talk. So that's going to be about an hour long. So see you after that. was pretty interesting I'd say my biggest takeaway from it is you can have a completely factual news story but depending on how you report it like how emotional you are that type of thing it's gonna come across completely differently to the audience even if it's the same set of facts so think about that all right guys my sneakers are on so I'm just gonna go to Ikebukuro now and I want to get like this anime donut you'll see later <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, so I just got back from Ikebukuro and I haven't opened up what I bought at the Cardcaptor Sakura Cafe yet. Oh, okay, it's not like a cafe, it's like a, I don't know, it's in the big animate like cafe building. Ikebukuro has a ton of anime shops, anime everything, and it's mostly, mostly oriented towards girls or like, you know, girl shows, like what they like. So I love it way more than Akihabara. I never go there. If you are a girl or you like female oriented shows or, you know, whatever, then you should definitely go to Ikebukuro because they have amazing stuff. I'm going to have to take you guys in those shops one day, but they really are strict with filming. So that's why I haven't. Let's see what I got. Yee! Uh, uh, it's like the one character I didn't really care about. Oh, it's like a clip though. Maybe I should have got another one. It's kind of cute. What should I do with it? What do you do with these things? What are they? Trading cookie food clip. Nani sore. Oh, what do I do with it? Um, okay, if you have any ideas what I can use this clip thing for, let me know because. I don't know. I also got like the matching coaster, I just realized. The coaster thing was random too. I don't know, it's called a coaster, but it's just like a circular piece of paper. Mmm, it's kind of growing on me. So the rest of the night, I'm just gonna kind of chill. It's super hot out now, and I really want to turn the AC on, but oh, it's just like barely not hot enough, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. guys and happy Thursday. I got like no sleep last night. Why? I don't know. I couldn't fall asleep until like 4 a.m. and I was literally listening to the newspaper being delivered. Not one newspaper but two. I woke up like every hour so I'm kind of tired today but I already had my morning uh, seminar class so now it's noon and I'm gonna be attending a different seminar later on today and it's raining, so I'm not gonna leave the house. Just don't want to. And if I leave the house, I spend money. I don't know what to do though. I, okay, I know what I should do. I should do my schoolwork. I should. Ah! I will eat lunch and then we will get to work. So do you guys have this in your country? Uh, like all the noodles, the spaghetti noodles, they came in a, like wrapped in this five minute thingy. So they're all proportioned out for one serving size, which is really great if you live alone, like me. Tekiyagari. Kind of looks gross. Yeah, mm, whatever. Okay, I'm cleaning my shower right now. I already did the dirty part because I didn't want to show you guys that. Yeah, these bathtubs are kind of a pain to clean, but oh, they're so nice. The seminar finished, so even though the tuition is very stressed. reasonable. So as many of you probably know, <laughs> I am a grad student right now and I am in my first year of a master's program. So if I want to do a PhD, I kind of need to decide very soon <laughs> because the seminar I just went to, she talked a lot about her like PhD experience and research and like getting a job and all that. 
and <laughs> basically like I want to go into it I think like getting a PhD however there's funding because the Japanese universities they don't do like the stipend thing that American ones do at least well here compared to America I'd I have to afford to live <laughs> and I do have a part-time job which is a decent salary but you know it's not gonna cut it for like you know for like a PhD program for you know at least three years minimum more realistically four or five and I mean I know there's other like scholarships and things like that I can apply for later but I just hate the uncertainty of not knowing what I can afford uh... <laughs> Good morning guys, I am on my way to Ginza now. I slept in, as always, so I'm late, so <laughs> that's why we're going. <laughs> Hey guys, it is already Sunday. Yesterday I just went to work all day and then I got some tan tan min with my friend afterwards so I didn't bother vlogging. <laughs> Actually I find I really enjoy my job these days so that's good. <laughs> the kids are just so cute. Mostly. Not all of them. Anyways, today's gonna be kind of a boring day. Just an errands day. That's usually what I do on Sundays unless I have plans to meet a friend. But I don't. So. so I already cleaned my air conditioner. I like sprayed it with this, I don't know, bottle of stuff. And then I need to go to the grocery store and drop off some dry cleaning. But it looks like it's gonna rain, but my laundry's hanging so I don't wanna leave it in case it starts to rain, you know. <laughs> It started to rain, so I had to drag all my laundry in. <sighs> Okay, complete change of plans. I'm not gonna do any of what I just said. I'm gonna go to karaoke with my friend in Saitama because all the karaoke places are closed in Tokyo for the state of emergency. I was gonna wait until June, but they extended it till the end of June and I just dying. But I think just closing karaoke outright is like, especially because I really just want to do it alone or sometimes like one other person. And when I do it like alone, it's like, I'm so safe right now. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay, so we're gonna do that.
right, you guys, I just got home from karaoke and I went out to sushi with my friend. I don't actually eat fish, but at places like Kura Zushi or like other 100 yen sushi, kaiten sushi places, it doesn't really matter because they have so many meat and like vegetable options these days. So I'm gonna end my vlog here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content about Japan and my life here as a grad student in the future. And leave a comment down below if you have any questions or you just want to talk. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys next week. As always, my name's Allison. Bye!